I was just chilling in my neighborhood, minding my own business, trying to cross the street, you know, as a bad chick do. And these two white tee men was in a car talk about just dying laughing. They was busting out laughing like they never seen a gay person before. And I was just like, you know, you must want some of this. See something you like? You must want some of this because you're staring at me. I must be the thing that you want, baby. <laughs> you want this. <laughs> I say all that to say at the end of the day, it don't matter what somebody say. If they feel like they mad at you for no reason, oh, baby, it's a reason. They want you. And that's period. And I hope y'all see this. Thank you. I was just shit. <laughs> hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. The devil trying me today. The devil trying me today. First, it was big girl with the running, and and now it's my boy right here. Well, my girl. Mm. Mm. I don't need, ma'am. Ma'am, I appreciate the message that you had at the end of your uh of your rant. I appreciate the message that you had at the end of your rant, ma'am. Sir. Um Shit just be confusing. Oh, no. How old are you? Thirty three today. At midnight, thirty three. When you hit forty do you think dating is going to change much from how it is right now? Unfortunately, no. It sucks. It's all online. Swipe right, swipe left. Nothing genuine about it anymore. Yo, what are the men facts. Like in your dating pool? I'm lucky. I've been with someone for three years who just bought a house. But it wasn't easy to get to that point. Mm. So how much should a wedding ring cost? I don't even care about that. I, would, I wouldn't care if it was a fucking ring from a goddamn... Uh, arcade thing. One quarter. It's all about your emotion behind the ring. Bro. So he genuine and you mean it by the ring. It can be a paper ring. I don't fucking care. Do you so, really want to marry me or not? So if you're really fucking with this guy, he could propose with a ring pop. He could propose with a ring pop. I'd suck that ring pop drive and say yes. Listen to me. Protect this woman. Protect, protect this woman at all costs. The reason I say protect this woman at all costs, I don't know how many of y'all been subscribed to me for the past month, but last month I reacted to a video where the young lady said that they ain't, they ain't, they ain't saying yes if you propose to them with a ring less than 100K. One, one of these Jezebels even had the audacity to say that she need a ring that's 500K. 500K. I'll give you a ring for 500k. Yo, are better be able to walk on water. Y'all probably wondering why this lady on my screen. Well, I got a story for you. Yeah, because I ain't the one you intimidate, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> you make no so first, I just want to say, ladies, be aware and pay attention to what's going on around you. Because today, I wasn't really paying attention, but my daughter was, Okay. So it's a lady. She going around the grocery store. I didn't, I never seen her. I wasn't paying her no attention. But she asked for me to order her Uber. Me? And I said no. But I was like, mm, no, she trying to get home. Like, I'm going to help her get home. Like, you know, just good Samaritan to me. So we go get in line. And I'll double back for them frosted cookies that she like. <laughs> she sees the lady asking for more Uber. So she like, mom, cancel that lady's Uber because she's still asking people for stuff. Ooh, I felt something off about her. But I wasn't paying her no attention. I was on my phone trying to figure out my recipe for dinner. So I canceled her Uber. Um, as we're walking out the store, we see her asking another lady. So we tell the, Anaya says, I want to say something. She go back and tell the lady that she's talking to, like, she is asking everybody to order her Ubers or whatever. So as we walking out, we waiting on our Uber. A uh, guy, young Hispanic guy pulls up and he's like, y'all seen an Indian lady and an Indian man? They just tried to kidnap my mom. They had her order an Uber. And they tried to kidnap this woman. So... So basically what she does, she has a whole bunch of people order Ubers and then her husband picks up one of them. That's, that's kind of foul. I had some, well, I don't think homie was trying to kidnap me, but, um, I went to Walgreens. Right before I was finna walk into Walgreens, 
a guy comes up and he's like, hey, bro, can you like get me a Uber? Um, I'll cash app you the money. I just like need somebody to get me a Uber. I ain't gonna lie, fool. I am from Brooklyn, New York. I have PTSD. If you ask me to do anything for you that involves the spending of money, I feel as though you're either trying to rob me or you're trying to scam me. So I was like, nah, bro. I don't even have an Uber app. I have Uber Eats, but I don't have an Uber app. Now, <laughs> I'm going to keep it 100. I got the Uber app. I got Lyft. I, got, I used to be Uber driver. I just wasn't finna do that shit. Homie got mad. Like, bro, he got so mad to the point where I'm like, yo, I might have to shoot this nigga. Why is he so upset? You never, like, how entitled could you be? Now, I don't think he was trying to kidnap me, but at the same time, like, that situation went sour fast basically because I said no. Yeah. So, be careful. If you don't, I know some of y'all might not live in the South, and you don't, you know, you can't conceal carry. But if you live in a state where you can conceal carry, I urge you to conceal carry. Please, conceal carry. Protect yourself. Because there's a lot of weird people out there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is today's video. I do apologize that I didn't upload for the past three days. Um, we have a mandatory shutdown at my job. So we have been, I'm going to be working the next seven days straight. I have to figure out ways to kind of sneak and upload videos for y'all. And you know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, a lot of these videos, well, every one of these videos is literally me going through my timeline, either on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or World Star Hip Hop. And um, I'm going to leave my, my Instagram up because a few of y'all have been tagging me in some of the craziest videos. So, um, I'm going to leave my Instagram up, and you know what I'm saying? If you see something that you want me to react to, just go ahead and tag me in it. Tag me in it, man. Or you can follow me on the gram if you want to say hi. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no celebrity or nothing like that. I'm regular. I got a regular-ass job. Well, I don't got no regular-ass job, but you know what I'm saying? I'm regular. You feel me? So, holla at me.